go to open your eclipse open your eclipse ide once you open your eclipse ide first make sure that you need to have a project in your system so here what is the project that we need to create that is my first question here the project that we need to create is it should be a java project it should it should be a javascript project it's, it should not java project so how to create javascript project in eclipse ide in eclipse editor right so i'm going to create a project here javascript project go to file new if your system is not displaying javascript project directly just click on project just click on project and then here you'll find javascript open this expand this javascript and you'll be able to see javascript project create this java project javascript project and click on new enter your project name here I'm going to enter angular project and I'm going to click on enter button it is going to create a Java project with the name angular project if you open this expand this one automatically JavaScript libraries will be configured into this project how it is going to configure how it is going to configure JavaScript resources directly okay before going to create a javascript project make sure that you are going to in, uh, you are going to install angular js add on to your eclipse ide let me write everything here so that it is easy for you open eclipse ide install angular js add on from eclipse marketplace help go to eclipse marketplace it is going to launch this one search for angular js you are going to see the add on here not this one here you'll have yes third one this one angular js eclipse 1.2.0 which supports to our angular js applications which sub which supports to our protractor i have already installed so that is the reason it is displaying the status as installed click on install button automatically that will get insta installed to your system once this angular js add-on has been installed and once you create the JavaScript project, automatically this JavaScript resources libraries will be created. Now, once installation completed, Eclipse restarts automatically. Next thing, create a JavaScript project. In IDE, the process will be file menu, new project javascript project so here enter project name click on finish done system creates system creates javascript resources 
libraries by default done now you need to configure now you need to configure your project your protractor what you have been installed in your system that particular folder you need to configure here so here i am going to write user has to configure the node modules folder to eclipse why because everything installed related to protractor in users local system will be saved in node modules folder so whatever the installation that you have done previously node.js npm installer web driver manager from the command prompt in the initial session so the same thing will be saved in node modules folder that node modules folder has to be uh, has to be configured in your project in your javascript project in eclipse ide without that configuration scripts cannot be executed so that is the reason i am going to copy the same folder go to c drive go to users go to your name and app data roaming node modules so anyhow we need to uh, copy node modules folder only right so up to here this is your path c drive users your name your local system name and then app data roaming npm so copy this node underscore modules folder go to your eclipse ide copy here paste it here it is going to copy everything it will take some time yeah the folder has been copied now the folder has been copied now so don't worry even though if it is showing an error no, no need to worry about that it is a, a configuration issue because my system is configured with so many things my system is configured with so many things but when you follow this process if you follow the process what i am saying it to you now so for sure your system will configured with a good number of uh, executions so no need to worry about that now everything has been done here you have created javascript project you have copied node modules folder into your javascript project so let me write down write down that step even here in notepad user has to configure yeah already mentioned configure the node modules node modules path C drive user user directory user directory in the sense users and your name 
app data slash roaming slash npm this is the path for that so if you go to this path then you'll be able to find node node underscore modules folder into this so copy that node underscore modules folder into this particular project whatever the project that you have been configured now up to this path configuration has been completed now it's your it's your turn to design the scripts to design the scripts already the script has been designed sample scripts i am going to take what whatever the sample scripts that we have been designed i am going to take these two scripts only configuration file and specification file already these two files has been created in the initial session itself so the same files i am going to copy these two files into this eclipse folder sorry into this project folder now configuration file and specification file has been copied copy conf.js and spec.js files to javascript project created in eclipse ide so what is the purpose of copying this conf.js and spec.js what will happen if we are going to configure the same thing if user configures conf.js and spec.js files to this particular folder it means that whatever the scripts that we have been designed that will be configured properly to that particular project okay means even even when you are executing the script that that will be that will be configured automatically that will be executed automatically okay fine now the next step is the project is in javascript format right we have created javascript project now you have to convert this project into turn project t-e-r-n project how to convert this javascript project to turn project what is meant by turn means i'll let you know about that but remember that we need to convert this java project to turn project convert java project to turn project this should be done by right click on the project right click on the project go to configure go to configure select convert turn project automatically it will convert to turn project t r n project so let's see how to do this one okay right click on the project go to configure go to trn project once you click on trn project it will ask you to select some modules what are all those things that we need to select for our, for our protractor we are always dealing with jasmine framework and we are dealing with protractor we are dealing with protractor basically what is this turn project that we need to know right so as as we discussed in the initial session we we discussed about single page applications and multiple page applications
single page applications multiple page applications so why we are discussing again about this concept means in order to understand what is meant by turn project in single page applications we have the fields called first name last name date of birth email phone number okay let us have the same fields in multiple page applications also The same fields are there in multiple page applications also but in multiple page applications in multiple page applications when you send the data when you enter the data first name last name date of birth email id phone number and click on save or submit button the data will be saved in the respective columns of the database first name will move to first name column second name will uh, sorry last name will move to last name column date of birth will be moved to dob column like that respective data will move to the respective columns in the database but in single page applications the data will be moved to the database in the format of json object json object what is mean by json object json object is nothing but every data what we have entered here first name last name date of birth email id phone number whatever the data that we have entered in single page applications that will be encapsulated that will be bind in a single object that object is known as json object that json object will be moved to the database there the data will be distributed to the respective columns in order to handle this json objects in order to handle this json object we are converting javascript project to turn project here anyhow we are using protractor right so that is the reason i have selected protractor and jasmine framework so once you have done with this click on apply and the project will be converted into turn project once the project is converted to turn project now it's our duty to execute the scripts it's our duty to execute the scripts how to execute the scripts let us see select this configuration file right click here go to run run as run configurations once you go to run configurations you'll be you'll be able to see this particular screen create manage and run configuration in this we have configured protractor and we have configured protractor and what we have configured jasmine framework so in in order to have that particular thing in order to have the same configuration in order to have the same execution part we need to execute the script we need to execute the protractor script let's see how we need to perform from here onwards select this protractor select this protractor and click on new launch configuration new launch configuration and here protractor config file we need to configure protractor configuration file this configuration file we need to configure it here browse workspace select this config file click on ok 
what is the workspace for this project browse workspace angular project is the workspace click on ok and <clears throat> once you configured this protractor configuration file into this particular main pro, main tab now navigate to protractor now navigate to protractor here it is asking us to configure cli.js file where we can find this cli.js file this cli.js file can be found in our workspace only expand this workspace expand this project go to node module go to protractor go to build in build you are going to see cli.js select this one select this one anyhow uh, we need to write the steps also right so parallelly we can write the steps even otherwise the path will be missed here let us close go to main so execute the script right click on conf.js file go to run go to run as select run configuration select run configuration system pop up say window system pop up say window select protractor click on new launch configuration select conf.js file in from the workspace in main tab now select workspace and then go to protractor protractor tab browse cli.js file cli.js file from the project workspace how to select cli dot js file now expand workspace
expand project expand node modules expand protractor expand build or select build select CLI dot JS checkbox click on OK Okay, now you can change the name of this configuration or else you can continue with the same name. Execute Protractor. This is the name. Click on apply. Click on run. Once you click on run, automatically script will get executed. Mm -hmm.